our number one problem is we do not keep our customers long enough. And we presented a strategy that sort of had three chunks to it. We had to be network-led, we had to re-engage our people, but actually, we had to fix the fundamentals in the company so that our customers stayed with us longer. So, how have we been doing? Um, well, uh, from, a, from a financial perspective, uh, we've continued to, uh, to grow the organization in terms of free cash flow. But actually, the customer metrics are at the core of the quality of future earnings. We're just an annuity stream. If you want to be a financial engineer, we're an annuity stream. We have five million customers who pay us 42, 42 pounds a month. We've got several hundred thousand business customers that pay us a few thousand pounds a month. It's a subscription revenue stream. And unless you manage that, the interactions across that revenue stream, it is not going to grow. So, we've driven churn down um, eight quarters ago. Churn was at 1.8% a month. We lost nearly 2% of our customer base every single month. In the first quarter of this year, our churn was 1.1% per month. And actually, 35 basis points of that was people moving from being on net, i.e. they could get our product, to moving off net. And I'm afraid, I don't care how great you are at customer service, there's not a lot you can do about that. So when you compare our underlying on net um, attrition, or retention if you're half glass full, we are now market leading. Think about where we've come from. In terms of MPS, we've had a 23% improvement in operational MPS in the last 12 to 18 months. We've had a 16% improvement in relationship MPS. We've gone from bottom of the pile in comparing ourselves to everybody that's in our space, whether they be a global uh, mobile operator, a satellite operator, a fixed line telephony operator, or, or a reseller. We've gone from the bottom of the pack to the middle of the pack. The challenge now is to go from the middle of the pack to the top. And there's been a lot of debate um, around, you know, MPS, does it really drive profitability? Does it really make that difference? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is a direct relationship to the number of customers that you keep, to, the, to your growth, to your profit. There is a direct relationship between happy customers and lower costs. Um, but you need to drive it through the organization. Measuring doesn't do it in itself. 